Hi guys and welcome to another video and in this one we're going to be taking a look at something a little bit different. We're going to be taking a look at the next level racing HF8 haptic seat. Now it's not sponsored in any way by next level racing and it's not being provided to me by next level racing so this isn't a sponsored video. This is something that I purchased myself some time ago and I do find the seat really good. However the included software that comes with it is unfortunately really poor. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to get it working in not only the included games that come with the software bundled with the seat, such as iRacing, Osmo Ballista, etc. But what we're going to do as well, we're going to show you how to get it working in American Truck Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator, and some others. And without further ado, let's get ready to rumble! Okay, welcome back and welcome to this new video. And in this video we're going to be showing you the next level racing HF8 seat. And we're going to show you how to get the seat working with other games other than the ones that come with the supplied software and more importantly get the seat working well. I'm also going to include in the video description a download which will enable you to use the profile with SimHub so you don't have to do any of the hard work yourself. It will essentially work straight out of the box and we're going to be showing you in the next sections as to how to apply that to SimHub for yourself. So everything that's in this video is going to be free to download, free to use and it will get the seat working well for you. So just a brief overview of the seat. So you may or may not already own the HF8 seat. If you don't, it's one of those things that is something that adds extra immersion to your gaming. Uh, for me personally, I play a lot of American Truck Simulator in VR and with the haptic seat on, with a VR headset on, the immersion is absolutely fantastic. But also even in sim racing games as well, it adds an extra layer to them in the respect that, for example, iRacing, which I also play a lot of, you can feel the corners, you can feel the curves, um, you can refine the software to make it work well for you. But it's a really impressive piece of kit and it's something that once you earn one, you really couldn't do without it. So back to the overview. So this is the supply software that comes with it. As you can see, we have eight haptic motors that work independently. If I just press on one of them, you may or may not hear that, but the intensity is quite good and strong. And obviously we can adjust that intensity within the game and the settings, and we can make it bespoke to how we like it. On the right hand side here, on the actual included software, and this is the latest version, we have some popular sim racing games, and we also have some flight simulator games as well, just down here. We can link it up to a 3.5mm jack on our PC and we can use it using sound output but the ideal method is obviously via USB and we can then refine the settings to make each motor independently work better for us. So if you want to use the included software it's quite simple. We simply download the included software that comes linked with the box, download it to our PC and once connected we can adjust the intensity using the slider down here and we can simply then connect it to the game that we're interested in playing. Now you can see here it's showing action, re action required and you may need to make some amendments to existing games but it's not really difficult it's just a case of just going into the various options on those games and changing some settings. Now as stated it doesn't work with all games using the supply software which is a bit of a shame however I'm going to show you in the next section of the video how we can get it working with other games and how we can even get it working with some FPS shooters as well if you wanted to try it with them. Okay so in this section of the video we're going to work on a piece of software called SimHub I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. Uh, SimHub is completely free however there is also a licensed version if you wanted to pay I think it was £5 and if you want to contribute something back to the developers of this fantastic software, it does far more than what I'm going to show you in the video today. If you wanted to use it with sim racing games, you can configure it to make custom dashboards, wind simulation, various other different things as well. So on this screen here, we have all my favourite sim racing games. I've also added a couple more into here as well to show you that it works with games other than sim racing. So we've got simulators in here, American Truck Simulator, and also we have... Euro Truck Simulator just on the right here as well but as I mentioned in the previous section it also works with FPS shooters as well so I've added Counter Strike 2 in here just to show you that as well so how would that simulate such as gunfire and shots and movement it adds that into here as well and gives you some extra value out of the HF8 seat 
so on this screen, the section we're going to be interested in is the Shake It Motor section just down the left hand side here. And I'm also going to include in the description of this video a downloadable profile which you can add into here and I've called it the All Games Profile and it will allow you to use the SimHub software to work with the HF8 seat to make it work with any game out of the box so you don't have to mess around for hours doing it yourself but what I will show you is if you want to refine it for individual games it's quite easy to change the settings individually as well. So if we select the Shake It Motor section just here and we remember we had ATS highlighted so it will use ATS for this particular profile and clicking on Shake It Motors we have the All Games profile selected which as mentioned is the profile I'm going to leave a link to download for you as well I'll show you how to load that into the game in a moment but if we just look at what the settings are just down here some settings won't be available for every game so for instance the telemetry data that comes from American Truck Simulator is not going to be as advanced as something such as iRacing so you're not going to have telemetry data for wind or mist gears or gear grinding or other custom effects just mentioned just here but if we do look at what's included on American Truck Simulator profile for example we have deceleration for example we have acceleration just here and what we can do once we're into each individual section if we want to refine it we have the overriding slider just here which shows you the actual intensity amount so for acceleration we obviously want that to be quite intense because that's something that you're going to feel during throughout the course of the game uh, and then we want some of us to be a little bit more underlying to that so I found after playing around with a number of hours in this and setting this profile up to work with all games as mentioned but this will work quite well for you out of the box but if you do want to refine it for example if we didn't want the acceleration to be so intense we will simply use the section just there to click down on it we can test it just by simply Clicking on the test function, you'll see that the graph moves with the functionality as it fires in just there. If we wanted to change that, we could then wind it down using the up and down sliders just here. If we wanted to turn it down and then test it, so I'm going to turn it down to 60%, we can test it then. Obviously, that's going to significantly reduce the vibration you're feeling back through the seat. So you can do that for every single function. And if we just test gear shift, that's quite a, a FUD. That you would want to feel when you're changing gear and in a similar fashion some of them are slightly less so if we look at road rumble these rumbles will just be felt on the bottom section of the seat and if we want to wind that down a little bit because that's something you're going to feel consistently throughout the course of the game you could maybe wind that down to 80 percent and it feels a little bit less impactful so this is how we go through the individual settings for each game. But how do we load the profile in? Okay, so going back onto the dashboard, if we select any game, we'll leave it on American Truck Simulator just for now. Then we go back into Shake It Motors, just on the left hand side here. If we click on Profiles Manager, you can see that the All Games Profile is loaded in just here and this is the one I'm providing to you. Go to Profiles Manager. And then what we need to do, once you've downloaded the profile from a link in the video description, save it on your PC in the location, so I would call it SimHub or something to that effect in the folder. If I click on Import Profile just here, then I'm just going to go through, I'm just going to find where that's hiding, just here. And I've called it Any Game, All Games Profile. So all you need to do is just click on that, and then if you click on Open, it will then warn you that it's then going to overwrite the profile that's already in there for this sake I'm just going to click on yes because it's exactly the same profile and then if we click on edit profile you'll see that I've just put a little part in the description just here uh, which is basically just saying this profile is for the next level racing haptic feedback seat and it allows you to use it with any of your games compatible with SimHub however please be aware that not all features are supported for all games and then enjoy key thing to mention as well is that if you are using SimHub to work with the game you cannot have the manufacturer software running at the same time so within the manufacturer software if you already have that installed in your PC just make sure that that doesn't run on startup because by default it does I would recommend setting SimHub once you install it it will ask if you want it to run on startup I would suggest yes and it will then simply just run in a tray on your PC as soon as it loads 
you know, really good piece of software once again, really helpful and really fantastic to use with many of the sim racing games. I use it for other effects as well, such as dashboard effects, but it really adds an extra dimension to your games. And if we go back onto Counter Strike again as a, as a different one, just to mention just here, and then we go on to Shake It Motors, you can see here, but many of these features are not enabled for it. So we're just going to have custom effects that we're able to activate for this particular game because as you can see, many of the others just simply don't work with it. And if we click on custom effects and we activate that, then we can modify this to work for bespoke effects on various different parts of the seat and activate individual motors to work, for example, for gunfire. And you can customize that within here. So this is a custom profile. If you wanted to use the HF8 seat with other FPS games or other games, then you would need to set up in the same way for that. So it's just simply set up for a bespoke custom effect here. You would need to go through and refine that to your liking within that section just there. Okay guys, thanks very much again for joining me in this video. And remember in the description below, you are going to see a link so you can download the SimHub profile yourself and you can then apply that to SimHub and you can use those settings in your game to get it working for you. I really do appreciate all the likes and subscribes. It's really overwhelming and the channel couldn't be what it is without you. If you haven't already, I would very much appreciate if you could also drop me a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, if you could do so, that would be fantastic. Until next time, we'll see you again soon. Thanks again.